Well, it's that time of the month again where the grass cutters are here. So I reckon that when the grass cutters come, you're more likely to get snakes coming because they disturb them, you know? I think during the daytime they hide in their holes or whatever. And anything that disturbs the snakes in their, you know, hole during the daytime, it's more likely to make them come out and, and run around and or slither around. So I've decided that days where the grass cutters are here, well, they also say when it's raining as well, don't they? So when it's raining, you want to be extra careful about also the rainwater goes down into the hole the snake will come out to escape the water but today and the next day whilst the grass is being cut i want to be like extra careful with the dogs and snakes and keep a closer eye on things just in case oh that's another, on that sub yeah so on that subject i also thought it would be a good idea you know just in case is to to find out which vet around here like has the injection of the medicine for treating a snake bite on a dog because you know say the worst does happen it's like an emergency time's critical you want to like know where you're driving to so we did we did that as well we went to the, one of the vets we normally go to and we, we checked and she said she said yeah I, I have that now because a few people have been asking about it so she decided to stock it and I tried to buy it I wanted to buy it like to have it here you know just in case but they said like no you can't buy it you have to come to a vet because it's got to be like an injection so I said, well, you know, what do I do if it's in the middle of the night? And she says, well, you can bang on the door because I live up upstairs above the shop here. Well, you know, you don't want to, oh no, I've got an emergency, you drive to a vet and then find out, oh, we don't have that. And then you've wasted all your time driving somewhere. So I thought that was sensible. I've just been in trying to teach Goggy like to howl on command and he did do it a little bit. Goggy, howl, howl. Howl, Goggy. Ooh, howl. <laughs> uh, I'm having a lot of trouble with these doors. I thought lacquering was like painting, but it's really not. It's much more difficult. So I've got a few things I've been trying and uh, it hasn't been going that well so far, to be honest. So, you know, you think, oh, just a brush. It's just paint on like paint, but Basically what's happening is it's drying very quickly and any drips that are occurring, I'm, I'm having a hard time fixing them. And any time one of the, the bristles comes off the paintbrush, you, you go back to pick it out and it's already dry and you've, you've just ruined what you've done. Yeah, it's, it's pretty annoying. Uh, but I, I'm gonna try and find a new product bit so it's a bit easier to work with. And that's what I thought I might do today, go out and try and find something. As the grass cutters are in, I thought as well, I better not start lacquering the door here because they might flick some grass on it or something. So I thought best to leave that for today anyway. I put this termite treatment on them first as well. That went okay. That was reasonably easy to apply. Though it did have the effect of, of darkening the wood quite a lot. And the clear lacquer I got also seemed to darken the wood as well. So I wasn't aware of that either. So. I thought if you got clear stuff, it would leave the wood the same colour, but it, it, it still darkens it a reasonable amount, but I guess it looks all right anyway. The only other thing that happened is I got the curtains done. So that's good. We can keep the light out now. It means I get an extra hour or two of sleep in the morning because I need my sleep. I need like seven, eight hours or I don't feel right. So yeah, that's it really. Other than the only other remark I've got is I was a bit worried this room was a bit long and thin. It's, it's, it's four by six. I thought it was awkwardly long, but it's turning out it's really nice and it's a perfect size to, to fit what we've got. It's just, it's just one of those things that's gone right, bit of luck. There have been a lot of things that have gone like right due to luck on this building project, as well as the annoying things that have gone wrong. There has been a lot gone right as well. Ready? How old, Gorgie? How old? Good doggy, howl. Oh. Bunk bunk, howl. Oh. Okay, tomorrow, we'll do it tomorrow. I swear he did it a minute ago. Oh yeah, people were asking in the comments of the last one, like why you got Husky in Thailand? Basically, yeah, we got Bung Bung. And then we thought we better have a friend for Bung Bung, so we got Gorgie. Penn's son's friend 
breeds huskies. So he wanted to sub like support his friend's business. So that that's the reason why we got a husky. And my initial reaction as well is like, a husky in Thailand, are you crazy? But then you go on Google and Google tells you, actually it gets hot in Siberia as well. Their fur coat protects them from the, from the cold and from the heat, like it, it reflects the sun. That's another thing that Google says. If you Google this, they, everyone says, never shave a husky, it ruins their fur, all this crap. There's a lot of crap on the internet, as I'm sure you all know. It wasn't already complicated enough, I think Gorgie's a woolly husky. They have like a recessive gene that makes the hair grow like longer than a standard husky. And apparently those huskies have even more trouble like dealing with the heat. So not only is we have a husky in Thailand, we've got a woolly husky in Thailand. And therefore I think it's best to ignore the internet that says you can't shave a husky. And we do trim his fur down a bit and I think I'm gonna do it a little bit more. We we'll take a little bit off. It's good for him. I think he, I, I think he prefers it. And, um, you know, I think we should shave his belly fur a little bit shorter, actually, but it's always wet, so... Okay, it's always wet, so it's hot. <laughs> it's always wet, so it's hard to shave it. Okay, okay. He likes having his belly scratched, so... But also, yeah, you shouldn't have a husky in Thailand. It's, it's not the right kind of dog. They chase chickens, and it causes trouble with your neighbours, so don't get husky. Unless you've got a big, big fence or whatever, then even then it's trouble. They chase snakes, it's crazy. And then the last thing I'll say is like, the husky exists, so better that I've got it, because I'm gonna take care of it, you know, than some idiot that's gonna chain it up or whatever. You know, people don't treat dogs very well over here, so. So if there is gonna be a husky to suffer the heat of Thailand, better he do it with, with me and my air con than, than someone else. So whatever, I'm, I'm glad he's with us and that it's us taking care of him anyway. Quite noisy here today. Got a grass cutters, chainsaws up there. But the best thing to do is just get a, a Thai dog from the road, like Bung Bung. It's, it's sort of easier and well, it's trouble as well. But he doesn't chase chickens, which is the main thing. So and he, and he runs away from snakes rather than towards the snakes. Yeah, as I mentioned in the in the last video, Pen rescued Bung Bung from the road. They went to visit a relative and also, I, can't, I think his brothers and sisters had already been run over by cars. He was the last one. I think maybe even his parents had been hit by cars or something. And he was the last one on his own. And so Penn thought, you know, I better rescue this dog. And that's how we got Bung Bung and then, and then Gorgi. Over. Well, Penn rang the groom in place so they can take the dogs for a wash today while we go up to town, but he's got loads of seeds in it, so I thought I'd give a quick brush before we take him, so it's not, not too bad. Right then, we're all in the car as usual. We'll leave the grass cutters busy in a way. I'm not in the best mood today because of the problems I'm having with the lacquer on the doors. So I thought I'd get in the car and go out and have a break. We dropped the dogs off at the grooming place. They said they'll be ready in about three or four hours. So we got a bit of time going to shopping mall, get something to eat. Right, so we come in this grill thing called Tsukishi and then like you choose like what level you want and we get this silver one which is like 500 baht. So they bring like a charcoal grill and then this thing like sucks the, the smoke away and then they give you some dipping sauces as well. So this robot thing like brings the food and well it's not fully automatic, it still needs a, a worker to work it, but that's quite interesting, sort of. Anyway, so look, this is all the, the food that we ordered and whatever. 
and it's like oh, it's all you can eat. So, but anyway, pen, get cracking with that then. Get it all on the on the barbecue. So look, we've got like bits of seafood and salmon and bits of uh, pork and whatever, and then some vegetables too. Garlic bread. They're both really hungry. Can't wait, really. Looks like Penn's putting a seafood starter there, like prawns, squid, salmon. So things are sizzling away. Can burn stuff if you're not careful. So we've got a few vegetables on now. Mushrooms and pumpkin. We've got a bit of soup as well. What do you think of that then, Penn? Nice? Yes, yeah, nice. Well, it was nice. That charcoal thing just makes everything taste really nice. Pen, I'm all full up now. I've eaten too many barbecues. They're all so hard, they're like bits of wood. Why do they make them all so hard and uncomfortable? I'm always looking for like soft slippers. These are the best type I've found so far. Not too bad. They look nice and thick, they look soft, but you feel them they're just not at all like they're hard and horrible. How much is that? 400 baht. 400 baht. For both or one? Oh. There's no way that's gonna fit you. But it's tiny. Pen. There's no way you're going to squeeze into that. Yeah. So we've come over into Home Pro to see what other options they've got for a bit of lacquer. That's the stuff I'm having trouble with. They say there's this one. It's probably going to be the same nonsense. But I found this, well, this like a acrylic. It says acrylic lacquer spray. So I'm, I'm going to give that a go as well. See if we have any progress with that. I asked the lady if Bung Bung was good this time. Remember last time she said she was, he was trying to bite her? Yeah. So. Where are they? Bung Bung! Goggy! Goggy! What are you doing? You're a naughty Goggy! Lovely Goggy! How Goggy! How? How Goggy! Where's Bung Bung? Is Bung Bung in there? Bung Bung! Come on, quickly! Come on in. This way. Come on, Bung Bung! Quickly! Come on! Quick, quick! Wait, wait! In, in, in! Bung Bung! Bung Bung! Where are you going? I reckon in these places, I might be totally wrong, but I reckon they don't give them that much water and stuff because otherwise they'll need to go to the loo, won't they? So whenever we drop them off, we we'll make sure we give them water when we drop them off and then as soon as we pick them up, we we'll give them water straight away. They love it. <laughs> so last stop of the day before we go home, just uh, having a bit of food shopping quickly. Get all our like vegetables for the week and i got butter and cheese so a reasonable size block of cheese that's about 260 baht so it's a bit more expensive than england i guess but it's, hopefully it's nice cheddar cheese well, we had a nice lunch so we'll stop off here and get the dogs a chicken for their dinner hopefully they've got some left okay we're back home now Luckily, I moved the door over to there just in case it rained, and it, it did rain, so that's a bit of luck. Hopefully, this clear lacquer is going to help me out with this door a bit, so I can get through these all these little holes and get in all the, all the nooks and crannies. I'm going to try to spray this on. Hopefully, that will apply a bit easier than a brush, and I'll get on with doing that tomorrow, and hopefully it'll go all right. I can still hear the chainsaws going down the back over there. Pen's sorting out the dog's dinner. Sorting out their chicken. I managed to remember to get dimmable LEDs. You wanna go in? Come on. He's in now. 
So even when our lights are turned off, they're still on all the time. That's because the LEDs I put in there are not dimmable. On, off. On, off, but not off. So let's test this out then. So on, dim, off. Good. So you got into it all right then. Yeah. But anyway. It looks okay, but you can't wear it all together. It's all the same color. It looks like weird. You gotta have like, you right. know. When Penn first came over here, she was doing all the farm work by herself, like all the grass cutting the whole farm, and she was losing weight and was really thin. Not a little bit, I was slim. She was staying slim, and then now we pay the grass cutters and whatever. And... Well, that's better with a bit of black or something. Yeah, but I have to wear the, another, another one. Okay, yeah, that looks all right. That's <laughs> my dinner. Chicken, eggs and rice, cucumber. That chicken we bought at the side of the road, was it was enough for all of us. Me, Pen and the dogs. Still pretty full up from all that barbecue we ate earlier, so I'm just going to pick at it a little bit. I forgot to say, and people were asking about what happened with the goose and Gorgi from the story in the last video. People were asking me, is the goose okay or not? And yeah, the goose is okay. It was bleeding from its wing. And we were like, oh no, what are we going to do? We've got to take it to the vet. And how are we going to get it? How are we going to get it in the car? We didn't know what to do. We went and told the neighbour what happened. We were, we were thinking he's going to be angry about it, but he wasn't. And he said, oh yeah, recently the goose has been chasing the dogs around. It's been like really aggressive to, to dogs. And so the neighbour reckons it's probably the goose that started it. It's not like not Gorky's fault the goose went and get, came for the dog and I think like all the other dogs the goose has been chasing them and they're running away so the goose is thinking to itself hey you know I can like push the dogs around and it's tried it on with Gorgi and Gorgi's been trying to catch this goose since he was little <laughs> I'm saying his name so he's looking at me over the end of the bed but the goose are quick, they can get away, they go in the pond, they swim away from him. So so it was pretty weird at the time, like how he how he managed to come back so quickly with a goose in his mouth. Because normally for try as he might, he just can't catch them. So it makes sense what the neighbour is saying, that it's actually the, the goose has come up to him instead. So but yeah, as far as we anyway, yeah, as far as we know, the goose is okay, it's it, it's over there and um So it looks like there'll be no repercussions on this occasion so yeah he's just lying here eating his bone pens outside mucking about with a cat so that's the end of the video i guess it's been quite a long day as always